Hello friends. Let's discuss one more trick today. Very, very useful. Okay. And this session will be again, little bit lengthier than the previous sessions. So let's look at the use case. Use case is we want to do load balancing, HTTP load balancing without load balancer. Okay. And that is possible. Let's that's what the trick we are going to discuss. So let's discuss the use case first. So let's say I have experience layer and I have process or system layer. Okay. And my process or system layer, the API, which I'm trying to access from my experience layer is deployed on multiple worker. Okay. Now we have two types of load balances, which are not available here, but let me talk about. So shared load balancer is there, dedicated load balancer is there. Okay. Shared load balancer comes by default when you get the, the any fund platform, but to have your own dedicated load balancer, you have to pay and purchase it. But that, that option is not in our case right now. Okay. Now my experience API sending request to that process or system API and my job here to make sure the request, which I'm sending multiple requests, those are getting load balanced. Okay. Let's see how we can do. So for this use case, I have deployed my application, the system application or system API on multiple workers. So first let's look at this. <clears throat> so this is deployed on three worker. Okay. Now, if I access this, okay. So to access this, we have multiple URLs. One URL you can see here visible on your runtime manager, which is your shared load balancer URL. So if you trigger this, that means your request will go via shared load balancer. We want to, we don't want this. Okay. What we want is directly hitting the mule worker URL. So how to find that URL. So I have published the multiple videos on this also, how to get what all multiple, uh, you know, uh, URLs are available for your API to access. Please go through those videos and try to understand. Okay. So this is the URL. We'll get it on runtime manager. Okay. You can add your endpoint URL path <clears throat> and you can access your API. So let's go ahead and see, you can quickly look at this. So if I go to my <clears throat> control B, you are able to access that. Okay. Now we are not interested in that. Okay. Now, how to get the mule worker URL? You can take the same URL as a base, prefix your host with mule hyphen worker hyphen and add the port number. Okay. Same URL again. Let's go ahead and try to call this. So this will call your mule worker directly. Okay. Control V. Now postman doesn't have, so this postman doesn't have that load balancing feature. Okay. So it will be randomly accessing your mule workers. So now right now what we're getting is, so I have implemented that API in such a way that it will print the mule worker details. Okay. On which worker or on which AWS machine it's running. So this is the IP address of that public IP address of that machine. Okay. So one same. It's going to same, then it's going to same. Okay. So that means there is no load balancing happening here when I'm hitting from postman. Okay. Now let's see. Okay. So let's confirm that what all IP addresses are available. Okay. Or assigned to those mule workers. So what I have done, I have started my command line and there is a command NS lookup and you can pass the mule worker post. So let's take that host. So this is the host till IO. Go to your. Okay. You can see that this application or the host which you're looking at, right? It is getting resolved into three public IP addresses. See here, 3, 145, 28, 118. Then 145, 10, 177, and this. Okay. But in the postman, it's always sending a request to 145, 105, 177. Okay. So there is no load balancing. So that means this option we cannot use. Okay. Perfect. 
Now the trick is, okay, what I can do is I can go to my any point studio. In any point studio, I have simple mule application, which is calling that API. Okay, so let's consider this mule application is the experience layer mule application. Okay. And how I'm calling it, if you look at carefully, this is the uh, data view that is printing our uh, mule worker details. Okay. We are not interested in that, but just wanted to show you. Now you look at this. Okay. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to call this particular endpoint from my HTTP requester. And guys, HTTP requester is doing that trick. HTTP requester behaves like a load balancer. Okay. And that is what I wanted to show you. Without load balancer also, we can do the load balancing with simply HTTP request operation. Okay. How? I'm not doing any, any setup other than this. Okay. So simply I'm passing the URL here and let me run this application. Okay. It's I'm going to discuss one more trick on S3. So as per my, you know, experience in MuleSoft, HTTP request, you know, generally Mule, Mule is, they feel it's a simple, you know, uh, component or a processor, we just do the outgoing call. No, it does a lot of things. Okay. In the next video, I'm going to talk about one more trick where this component will be useful, very, very useful. Okay. Right now we're discussing only load balancing. In coming videos, you will see that this is this is the uh, complex or most useful component in the you know mule palette. Okay, let's wait for this deployment, and I'll go and prepare the request for that. So I'm going to call. Okay, so I have this endpoint. Let me show you that endpoint. So this endpoint, we are, yeah, it's deployed. Okay, it's deployed successfully. Clean this. Let's look at the endpoint. This is the endpoint I'm going to call without any extra configuration, okay? So let's go ahead. Let's go to our postman. Now let's carefully look at it, okay? So first request where it goes. So if you see, it's going on 3, 145, 28 guys. Okay. Carefully. First one. Second, it's going on 321. Then it is going on 3, 105, 177, the middle one. That means it didn't go to the previous one. Okay. So uniformly now 120, 145, the first one, then last one, bottom one, then middle one okay so it is <clears throat> actually distributing your load uniformly with the help of round robin algorithm automatically okay and that is what i wanted to show the trick where we can use stdp requester component without load balancer your stdp load balancing is happening when your application is deployed on multiple worker okay if you liked it, please share with your friends. If you're not subscribed yet, please go ahead and subscribe the channel. Thank you.